Hello everyone. Welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself, Ashwara Saxena, and in the series of Inter Programming, I am going to start with a new lecture today. In the last program, what we have done, you can see, like uh, I have uh, told you, different event handling with the help of button click. I hope you have watched the previous lectures, and now you are here. If you haven't watched the previous lectures yet, so please watch them, so it will be really helpful for you to understand the concepts in a well manner. Now today I am going to start with the menus. So let's start with menu. So how we can create menu in our Kinter in the Python coding. So let's start. First of all, let's import the Kinter package from Kinter import asterisk. That is, we are importing everything from the Kinter package because we are using asterisk. That is, this is star symbol. Then here I am taking one window. So when equals to TK, TK, I have already told that this is the constructor of the Kinter class. Then win dot geometry I am using, and win dot geometry geometry is basically used for defining the geometry of the window. That means how much width and height I want to give. So suppose I am taking two hundred cross three hundred. That means two hundred is the width and three hundred is the height. And this x is this cross is basically the small x from the keyboard. So don't miss concept. It is small x from the keyboard. Then I am taking menu equals to menu. So when we have to create the menu, then we have to use this menu class. Uh, the left side, it's written the menu which is written. It's the object, or you can say it's the variable right now. And this is basically the constructor of the menu class. So where we want this menu, we want it in the window. After that, I am taking win dot config. So we are just going to config this uh, configuration we are doing of the menu. So here is an attribute menu and menu equals to menu. So to this menu, I am passing the variable menu. So don't get confused. Here I have selected this one, and you can see that as I am selecting this menu, this on the line number four is also getting highlighted. That means we are passing this variable. This menu is the attribute. Purple one is the attribute. Then I am creating a sub menu. Sub menu equals to menu, and where did I want this menu? I want it in the menu. Don't worry, you will understand it. I will also explain it as soon as this code completes. But please don't skip the video because uh, otherwise you won't be able to understand in a well, well manner. So menu dot add cascade. So like you can see, this menu is here. So when you are working on the menus, you can see file, edit, view. Different menus are given here. Similarly, we will also create the menus, and we are just clicking on it, and you can see the drop down menu is also coming. So both ways we will be doing the work. So Add cascade when I am giving so the label which we are giving is like post file so this will be coming on the top and uh, menu equals to we are passing it in the sub menu after that sub menu dot add command so now whatever command we are adding here that will be coming as a drop down so here I am taking label equals to new project. Then I am taking command equals to suppose I am taking fun one. I will create this function. I have not yet created it, but yes, we will create it. Then sub menu dot let's let's copy paste and uh, create some menus here. So three four I have taken right now and let's uh, rename it. So let's take it uh, new file. Okay, right now I am just taking this much only. And uh, here I am taking exit. Okay, and for the exit, I am taking this quit command. So you can see it's written built in. So basically, quit command is a built in command. So if we are using it directly, so it will be just exiting us from the window. So it will be working. Like fun one, fun two, we have not yet created, but yes, we will create. Then I am taking edit menu. Edit menu, and this is also a menu which is inside the menu basically, which will be appearing on the menu. Then menu dot add cascade. And here I am taking the label equals to edit. After that, I am taking menu equals to sub menu. Okay, sorry, edit menu we should take here. Yeah, let's take some cut copy paste. But yes, this time this cut copy paste will not be working because uh, in this lecture, in this video, I am just demonstrating that how you can create the menus. First of all, let's create them. Then we will add the different functionalities. Cut copy paste. Suppose I have taken this, and here right now. Okay, wait a second. 
uh, edit menu after this I'm adding this in the edit menu now it's fine so add command so now the command which we will be adding that will be the cut copy paste so underscore and yes now it's better so here I'm just taking label equals to cut and the function or you can say the command which we are passing here let's take it fun one this way Let, let's take it cut copy paste for now so this I have taken okay after this we just have to take our win.mail loop okay so now let's create this uh, fun one which we have taken so this is a function okay let's create it here define fun one and uh, let's print something it's working i'm printing it's working okay. right now i'm not doing any extra advanced things here i'm just telling that how you can create menu with the help of tinter so let's run this program and see that how it's working okay oh here's some problem you can see in the line number nine it's saying there is a problem okay so on the line number 9, you can see uh, what I have done. I have taken this menu wrong. It should be menu this way, menu. Okay, now it's fine. So on the menu class, or uh, you can say this is the constructor of the menu class where we want it in the menu. Now it's correct. Let's run it. And now it's saying add cascade label menu edit menu. Okay. So here we have provided that menu equals to edit menu and uh, edit menu we have already created so there must be on the line number 16 label edit comma menu equals to edit menu So the spelling actually it's not correct it should be this one yeah let's run it so the spelling of label i had taken wrong so you can learn from my mistakes let's run the program And here you can see our output has come you can see our output is here now and uh, here we are having two menus you can see the file menu and the edit menu in the file menu we are having new project new file and exit in the edit we are having cut copy paste so this is our terminal so whatever we will be doing here the output will be coming here right now because we are just using the print command in this function okay so let's click on new project you can see it's working means the, pro the function is getting called now again the function is getting called and then the edit also for every operation the function is getting called here you can also see one thing uh, this line is here so if i am clicking here so you can see it's coming over so it is called tear off so by default there is tear off but yes i will tell you that how to remove this tear off so this you can just use like this also and uh, here if i will press exit so you can see now as soon as i have i have pressed on exit we will be out of this particular window so here you can see process finished with exit code 0 that means it's over we are out of the menu or you can say the window basically so this was a program where you can see that uh, what we have done we have just created a menu bar in which there was file and edit menu we have added some commands uh, so mainly we called a function we tried to call a function and we also use this exit uh, command quit so this quit command is predefined which we have used so you can see this code properly it's available and the cascade is used for um, taking the main